Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to configure a network with three areas with the help of OSPF routing protocol. In earlier video, we have configured the network with two areas using OSPF protocol. So let's start. So OSPF protocol is open shortest path first that is based on the link state routing algorithm where router contain the information of every domain based on that it determines the shortest path and the border routers are known as area border routers that contain all the information and uh, continuously exchanging the information with other area border routers to decide the shortest path so here we will be using the wildcard mask instead of subnet mask to define the routing but for network configuration we will be using the subnet mask only so wildcard mask is the inverted subnet mask for example for class A the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 uh, so in binary it can be represented like this 8 ones followed by 3 octets of 0 so if you invert this number you will get the wildcard mask as 0.255.255 similarly you can calculate the wildcard mask for class B or class uh, A, uh, class C addressing and for any class less addressing IP addresses as well so class less address just, confer, uh, just convert the subnet mask to the binary notation and invert all zeros to 1 and 1s to 0 so now we will be using three networks as we have already used the same network for earlier videos as well. So here every network comprises of one host. You may have multiple hosts within a network or router connected to mul multiple networks. So here I am using this arrangement where this is your fourth network and this will be your fifth network. Every router connection comprises of one network and you need to define the IP addresses accordingly. So here this network I am assigning the ID 40 and this as 50. This network is 10 of class A addressing. I am using class A addressing only. So here this is your network 10. This is your network 20 and this is your network 30 and this is 40, 50. So all are class A addressings. So first task is to divide the network into areas means you need to define decide the areas where uh, as you want to configure your network okay you may have any uh, type of arrangement here I am using first network as area 1 and the last network connected via router 2 as area 2 and the middle network or the common network we, kiss, we can say that I am taking it as area 0 okay so here the uh, middle router or the router 1 is supposed to communicate with router 0 and router 2 next task is to configure the routers for their directly connected networks means this router will be configured for network 10 and network 40 similarly this router will be configured for network 20 50 and 40 so let's just configure the routers then we will move, we will move to the routing commands for ospf here i have already added some uh, labels and the host in the networks to just to save the time so let's just quickly make the rest of the connections here it i am connecting the router to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 all the routers are connected to network via the same fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so let's just quickly uh, see the configurations of host so every network for every network i am using same pattern of ip addressing and the gateways so here as if i have only one host in this network i am assigning the id 10.1.1 for network 10 and the gateway as the next IP 10.1.1.2 okay so here this is the IP address for 10 network and this is the gateway for this host okay so similarly I need to configure the router for this gateway so let's just quickly configure the router as well configure the router for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 turn it on 10.1.1.2 and the subnet mask is taken done so this network is configured now for their communication now for coming to a network connected via router 1 so here host belongs to network 20 and assign with the IP address 20.1.1.1 and this is the gateway okay 
so the router configuration is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 just enter the gateway every connected network will be connected to the router via its gateway address so 20.1.2 same gateway you need to provide with the host okay so just be careful while assigning the gateways so for the third network here I am using network ID as 30 so the first host or this host is assigned with 30.1.1.1 and the gateway as 1.1.2 now the router configuration so router will be configured for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 you need to check the port numbers here if uh, if you uh, you are not aware of the port number you can just turn on the labels from the options fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and this time 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 is the gateway and this is the subnet mask okay so routers are configured for the respective network let us just quickly check fine okay and it is still red so it is taking time for booting while it is booting we can connect the routers serials 2 slash 0 here also I am using serial 2 slash 0 serial 3 slash 0 here you have both the option but I am using the same port for one connection so serial 3 slash 0 here it is turned green so let us just quickly check whether we have made the connections right or not so here we got the success done now let us just quickly configure the routers for the neighboring routers for the neighboring router so it is connected via serial 2 slash 0 with the network 40 so for this network this is your first host and this is your second host so for first host I am using the same pattern so I am providing the ID as for serial 2 slash 0 for first host I am providing the ID 40.1.1.1 and the subnet mask ok similarly for this router for this port serial 2 slash 0 and this is having the connection with network 40 so the second being the second host of the network I am providing 40.1.2 done ok now this router is also connected to network 50 as you can check if this is also connected to uh, network 50 and it is the first host of network 50 so I am going to assign it the IP address of network 50 as 50.1.1.1 .1 so you can assign any IP address for network 50 turn it on but you need to keep the network same for this connection and same network for this connection ok now we are left with only router 2's configuration and this time for serial 3 slash 0 we have already configured the routers for their networks at fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so here serial 3 slash 0 turn it on and this time I am providing another host ID for network 50 and done so all the routers are configured for their neighboring router router 0 to router 1 you can check the last status as success now router 2 to router 1 again we got the success and let's just try sending something from router 0 to router 2 and this time you will get a failure because routers are not configured for the routing so you need to define the routing and this time we are working on the OSPF routing so let's just see the commands for this for router 0 we can say that directly connected network areas are in um, directly connected network in area 1 are 10 and 20 10 and 40 as this is connected to 40 and the network 10 okay so for these two networks I am taking the area 1 you can change you can change the configuration as per your requirement so for that you need to write the command in, in global configuration mode if you open the router for the command line interface you need to enable the router by command uh, en or enable you can write abbreviations of the command or full forms and next you need to write the command to enter to global configuration mode as one second conf t that is config, uh, configure the terminal 
or config terminal you can write in any mode means abbreviation or full form so after this you will enter the global configuration mode and if you are in sub configuration mode then you need to exit from the sub configuration mode to global configuration mode to write the routing commands so here this is the interface this is the interface for the global configuration mode and for this time i am providing the process id as 1 process id as 1 for this router 0 okay you may use any process id so i am providing the process id as 1 for this router 0 this means the commands written for ospf for this router are assigned a particular id that is 1 okay for another router the command will be assigned with another id i am i will be using process id 2 for this router and process id 3 for this router right so let's just configure the net uh, this router for these two connected directly connected networks so for network so for first network 10 write the command network and this is your network id and next is your wildcard mask that we just discussed and the area is 1 area is 1 now for another network 40 wildcard mask is same and the area is also 1 because both networks are in area 1 they are they are falling in area 1 now let's just quickly configure the router cli as we are in sub configuration mode you can see exit for uh, detailing of commands for the router configuration you may check another video the link is given in the description box if you have any confusion regarding the uh, global configuration mode sub configuration mode etc so now router ospf 1 and define the network network is 10.0.0.0 next is your wildcard mask and area is 1 okay you are using the area 1 for network 10 done repeat the command with by using the upper uh, up arrow button and this time the network is 40 belongs to the same area that is area 1 and the command is executed okay so the configuration for router 0 is done with process id for ospf protocol as 1 now for another router that is router 1 it is directly connected to three networks now this time you need to be careful 20 40 and 50 and both uh, sorry the, all of the three network belong to three different areas so for uh, network 20 you need to write the command for uh, area 0 For, for for network 40 belongs to area 1 and 50 belongs to area 2 as you can see this is area 1 this is area 2 and this is area 0 okay so here the process id is 2 for the second router process id is 2 the command will be network network id 20 wildcard mask and area is 0 and here for network 40 the area is 1 and last for network 50 area is 2 okay so let's just configure the router go to cli command line interface mode in global configuration mode now we need to write the command router ospf this time process id is 2 now just configure the ospf 2 for the net connected network so this time i am configuring it for network 20 first 0 dot next is wildcard mask and area is 0 as you can see network 20 belongs to area 0 okay so just simply run the command done repeat the command this time for area 1 and network is 40 as network 40 belongs to area 1 done now the third network 50 belongs to area you can see belongs to area 2 so simply run the command for third network loading is done for the uh, earlier commands so you can repeat the command for area 2 and this time network is 50 done so all uh, router 1 is configured for all the three networks
done. So, you can also copy the commands. Let us copy the command for another router, third router configuration. So, for the third router, as it is directly connected to two networks 50 and 30, so you need to and both belongs to area 2. Okay, so, so you need to repeat the command for the same area but with different network. So, here the process ID I am going to assign is 3, the process ID is 3. Okay, so 3, next area is 2 for both the network 50 and 30 area is 2. So, open the router in CLI mode, OSPF ID as 3 and as I had copied the command, so simply paste it for network 50. So, network 50 belongs to area 2, the command is executed and repeat the command for network 30 that also belongs to area 2. Okay. repeat the command for network 30 network 30 now done ok. So, all the routers are configured now let us check by sending the packet data unit from router 0 to router 2. and we got the success that means our OSPF configuration is um, done perfectly. Now, let us try sending something from host of network 1 to host of network 3 you may get failure for the first time, but we got the success from host of network 3 to network 10 and we also got the success. So, that is it for this video see you in the next video till then take care bye.